What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiser Egg mod. We are playing as Dominion of India here. Let's get keep it going. So we've got some uh, dockyards stockpiled here because I want to start producing out battleships whenever we can or as soon as we can. And you can see we're 36 days away from having that level 3 done. We should probably take it up to that level 4, just to make sure that we're getting the, the latest unit possible. We've also got nuclear bombs three days away from being researched out, so that's cool. Construction-wise, repairing out a couple things here, and actually starting on some new military fa factory construction, right? Because I do want to fill out a couple things, including the support equipment needs over here. Nuclear bombs, done. So good, we've unlocked here. Nuclear bombs, reactors, we've got five of those total. So we're going to start making those bombs, which is great. And um, we actually need a strategic bomber to deliver those nukes. So I'm going to swing over here and get the Wellington, the Vickers Wellington up and going. We're going to potentially need nukes here um, as we go to war with the Co-Prosperity Sphere in the later part of the game. We do have France, Spain on our side, including Canada, Caribbean Federation, and then Australia. So a decent little faction. Uh, we're also working on uh, spinning up a lot more troops here to cover the Middle East for us, in case that's needed. We're also going to need a lot more troops uh, here on this border if things sort of go awry with the Co-Prosperity Sphere or the middle Europa before then. So, trying to take another national focus here, and uh, looks like still cannot take this one, which is fine. Um, aircraft production cost minus 10% here. Naval bomber models, we don't have any of those currently. So yeah, let's take the naval bomber focus here. There we go. All right, we've also got some more political power. Light tanks, uh, tactical bombers, and light cruisers all get some bonuses there, so let's take that. All right, finally have got a couple new divisions pouring out now. So three more heavy tank divisions. We're going to send them over this way. We're also working on modern tank divisions as those roll out, and I do want to add some infantry training here like this so that we could uh, basically start stocking up against this line if needed. My 130 divisions for my field marshal are all sitting over here guarding this line. You can see we've actually got Canadian and French divisions over on this side of things um, as they have been fighting against the Middle Europa as well. So Looks like my faction and the Co-Prosperity Sphere both are pretty friendly here at this point. It is September 46. Free civilian factories now. Hmm. Should we put in for some more nuclear f reactors? Potentially. I'll order up another three pack of those. And we can follow that up with some more dockyard constructions. Battleship 3 is out. Let's go back over here, get Battleship 4. 136 days there. All right, new military factories then. Let's take you guys and fill out the rest of these, first and foremost. Got about 4,500 light tanks in the bank. Heavy tanks are actually starting to stockpile now as well, so that's good news. Modern tanks were sort of down to 373 need there, and I'm assuming that's for, yeah, for filling out these trainings that we're doing. Logistics Company 3, done. I do want to bring that up to level 4 here. In fact, we've got to bring all of these up to level 4. Oh, West Bengal, finally. We finally got the core there. Is that enough to turn on this? No. But it does turn on... Hmm. There's something else. I think it's this one. Yeah. The uh, Naval National Focus here. Rearm the Royal Marine. Okay. Not really sure 
what that's going to give us. It doesn't really explain it out in the tree very well. East Bengal done. Still seeing some resistance. Okay, still don't have all the cores, so they'll keep coming over here periodically. Okay, so now I've got three heavy tank divisions over here in the Middle East. Three military factories now available here, so... Where should I plug you? Close air support, potentially. We might just stockpile them for now. Okay, time for another naval doctrine there. Up to 31 ships in the Navy. Six heavy cruisers, 25 lights. How many dockyards do we have available? Like 12 or so. We do need to swing back over here and go to aluminum. Oh, and that's why the Caribbean Federation not sending as much aluminum out on the open market as they once were. Orange group over here is fully populated. He's showing me that he's vastly outmatched, but that's fine. They're just really there to guard things for now. Uh, however, the field marshal here is telling me he is looking really good. So, the uh, Middle Europa and Co-Prosperity Sphere, both at war with each other up here in the middle of Russia. This is sort of the current battle line. I don't think France is at war with Germany. No, they shouldn't be. In fact, they're not at war at all right now. How about Germany? Yeah, just at war with the Co-Prosperity Sphere. So, that's what we're looking at. 82% on my next nuke. Very good, very good. About to have some new infantry pop out for us. Modern tanks are actually coming along pretty nicely. Equipment is at 98%, so training can go above that. They're currently sitting at 86%. Steel of five. Who's got some extra steel for me for export? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, this is really it. Hungry. Cool, we're actually, uh, <laughs> for a split second, we were showing as having enough steel for my production lines. That's going to continue sort of buckling up and down. It has been fluctuating a lot. Eight dockyards queued up. So all of these finishing out. Sai and I were finishing out some infrastructure buildings there. Got three more nuclear reactors on their way out. So that'll give us eight total once we finish that. Tibet, I think, got swallowed up into what? The Great Kanate. So they were allowed to sort of keep their, their lands for the most part. Tibet, at least. A big portion of it. Still alive and still part of their, their uh, own faction. Republic of Philippines here. Part of the co-prosperity. Much of uh, Central America, as well as the American Union state now, not part of a faction. Let's go rearm the Indian Marine. All right, here comes some more troops now. That is 10 additional. We're going to move you all over to the Middle East. That's where you're going to be stationed. So Yellow Group now sitting at 13 out of 24. Overall divisions. Hit it up to speed 5 here. So just trying to make sure that we are well prepared for a dogfight later. If it really gets down to it and we, we start getting into these bigger type wars with the other factions. Dutch Middle Africa still there. South Africa. Independent at this time. Same with Somalia. Somalia and Abyssinia slash Ethiopia have split in half. That's interesting to see. Who has steel? Anybody have steel? Just uh, oil here for the most part. 
Somali has none of that. We've got a little bit of steel here in South Africa, as well as a ton, and I mean a ton, of chromium, which will help them out late game for sure. Missing 25 steel there. We'll put in some military factories there for trucks. Oh, nice. New modern tank divisions are ready. So, these divisions I actually want to put... Let's see. I kind of want to put them up here on this border to the north. General, General, General. I only have the one field marshal currently. So we've got to populate him into a general then. And he's going to be red group. We do not have a red group yet. I want them to go up here against the middle Europa lines. That's where they're going to sort of chill for now. <clears throat> we would be able to roll across this desert provinces here really easily. We do have some mountainous areas up here by Uzbekistan, but that's okay. Advanced landing craft done. We're up to 2.38 million men in manpower now. Nice. Uh, should we try submarines or destroyers as well? Potentially. Good there. Long time there on the new jet fighters. Battlefield support. Formation flying. Let's get that one in. Time for some air doctrines, right? We've sort of waited on those till the end of the uh, the beginning wars that we had in the series. How are we looking over here now? Good. Yellow group, 13 out of 24. Purple group up here, still stacked up against Bulgaria. Romania. Part of the middle europe as well i should say yeah but still independent they were sort of taken to the house earlier serbia same thing how about albania no faction are you the last country in europe no just part of this little chunk here without a faction including portugal and, and uh scandinavia as well indonesia is still a thing um, maybe we could look at invading Indonesia while we're sort of waiting for things to happen here. I think I like that idea. They've got a lot of rubber and oil. Both rubber and oil. Is our Navy strong enough to take them on? Got 33 ships. Seven heavy cruisers. Let's go check on them. They have only one ship. <laughs> So yeah, we could do that. Let's tell uh, Orange Group then to queue up and get ready for an invasion. Formation flying done. That was quick. It's only like 20-something days there. Dive bombing. We'll take that in. Heavy Fighter 3. Just to cover our landing zone here. Want to put some aircraft out there. We're also going to tell Orange to go from here. Want to get a port, so we'll invade you right there. All right. We got to tell Orange Group also to go ahead and make moves. There we go. Let's go ahead and fabricate. 125 days. So we'll get that going. Twenty-four divisions. Yeah, he is at least planning out the the naval invasion now. Get rid of this. And tell all of you again to form up here. Invasion still preparing reserved convoys. Zero out of 81. So we do have to reserve up a lot of convoys there. Okay, let's do it. Alright. So they're going to move into position accordingly. Still got my couple of armies over here towards the west. 
five modern tank divisions sitting right here on the border. Now, Orange Group has what? One, two, three heavy tank divisions that we're going to bring across. Nice. The Vickers Wellington is finished. Waterloo is next. We, we've got to build some strategic bombers to deliver nukes, right? We, we actually have a nuke in the bank now, which is cool. Yeah, those heavy fighters have enough range to get down to Sumatra there, where we're going to invade. Currently no foreign claims on at least in any of the main islands there. Okay, sweet. So we finished this up. Let's uh, go signal company here, 102 days. Getting those latest values there. What do we got up here? 18,000 support equipments in the bank. Oh, okay. Cool. Ten more divisions. Let's place you guys up here on red line. Nice. What have we got coming over here now? Still nothing here? Nope. Close air support effort. We've got to get that. Okay. Got a little bit of a bonus there. Canada is justifying against the United States. That's going to be crazy. Okay, it's just the American alliance over here that they're going to be going for. So really the Western United States, American Union state here is separate and not part of a faction. Who is that in Huey Long? Interesting. Who's, uh, okay. You've got Douglas MacArthur running this part of the country. And who is this? Clarence Martin on the other side. Interesting. And were they fascist? This guy says such a you-know-who mustache right here. Social liberals, actually. F fair enough, fair enough. So this little war with Indonesia here should be pretty interesting. We're going to pick up a lot more resources. Although none of it is really steel. It at least protects our interests for the faction in the Pacific, or helps to. I should say. Nice. That last level battleship is done. Who, what else should we be producing here? Let's get destroyers out and going there. I do want to put up... Yeah, I do want to put in for battleship 4. We'll do something like that. So that's a full line, full dockyard line. Okay, that gets me all the steel that we need. Chromium, missing that. Need oil for that as well. Dive bombing, done. Okay, we've got the appropriate oil in there. Let's go direct ground support. And it may be in our best interest to move up. Well, it doesn't really change the steel situation, does it? But the battleships are rolling out. We got to show, uh, give you to the Royal Indian Navy here. Okay, good. Heavy cruisers not receiving any production because of the lack of steel. Wow, missing 99. American Union State here. We'll buy a little bit there from you. Hmm. Pacific States. Peru. Chile. Norway. Okay, what does that do for us now? Production. Okay. I do want to prioritize the uh, heavy cruiser production there. So one and a half of those per year. Light cruisers will sort of take a little bit of a break there. And we do have new convoys coming out. I've only got 161 of them. Hunter-killer groups. Nice. 
Let's go here, floating fortress. All right. So again, just a steel shortage. Yep, all 24 divisions here are ready to go. For the pride of India. Let's go here and here. Yeah, still don't have all the core states. I'm at least heating up our close air support efforts now. New infantry, I think that is, yeah. New infantry getting ready to roll out. Modern tanks still working. Okay. More infrastructure damage. Dang it. Well, cool. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you guys next time.